Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to one of the most stylish and a flamboyant car from the Toyota's lineup which is the Toyota CHR Hybrid. So in today's video I am going to be showing you all the interiors, the exteriors and we'll be going on a short drive in the CHR. And also this car is the first time, the CHR is the first time that the car has been introduced into the UAE market. So this should be really exciting. Starting off from the front, you get big Toyota blue logo, which is for all the hybrids or the electric cars from their lineup and a big bumper and a long one as well. And then you also get this black plastic trim, which grows uh, across the bumper and the meshed grills. Now these headlights are uh, completely LED so you also get the DRLs and also they are adaptive headlights and also auto leveling so and they actually continue all the way onto the side profile of the car and on the edge you would notice the fog lamps which are again LED fog lights now continuing on the sides as I mentioned before the headlights continue onto the side profile and you get 17 inch 10 spoke alloy rims and the hybrid batching and these mirrors are power foldable and also they are blacked out so this is the vx version of the chr so in that you get two-tone body color which is the blacked out roof and the side mirrors and in the gx version you get completely single body color but this looks so cool you know the roof and the side mirrors it actually makes the car look so much more better and sporty but one more thing to observe is the curves on this car and it actually bends my mind to think that how have these you know the, how has toyota managed to you know uh, manufacture you know these panels because look at this there is like a big thick arch on the side and also at the rear you would notice so many lines going around and just not even that look, check out the the petrol tank so that petrol tank also has like curve to it so that is like engineering you know like properly engineered and you would also notice that there is no handle out here for the rear door so that handle actually is out here mounted on the top side of the door and it's actually pretty easy to use it also you know like there is like big space for your hands to slip in and open them so these doors are smart keyless entry system and at the bottom you would find a big black trim which is actually pretty thick and actually makes the car look so much more broader from the side profile and also notice how these rear tail lights are you know protruding out from the side profile and go all the way till the back and also this spoiler which is actually unique so you know it's it's like hollow from the center and it's got like two just arms that extend all the way from the middle so continuing with the curviness of the car from the back you can notice the side panels actually merging very smoothly onto the back profile and then these lights which are protruding and sort of c-shaped lights and the c-shaped tail lights are halogen tail lights and also there is like a small spoiler out here maybe to you know improve slight bit of performance but when you look it from the side profile you would actually notice the 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 sort of the design of it and also notice how the rear window is actually very slanting and small and as a result of that even the rear visibility is slightly less than the usual now at the bottom you would find this big plastic trim and this sort of just weird design i hope they had put like a reflector or something but there isn't actually anything so that's actually pretty strange continuing with the boot space you get not much actually and it's decent enough to put like a small bag that's pretty much about it but the reason that, that that there is not much of a boot space is because they have given a spare wheel which is a full size spare wheel out here along with the toolkit but also the seats can be folded down in a ratio of 60 to 40 so you can do that from your itself so let me there's something on the seat which is why these seats that seat is not folding but so you get a fair bit of space after that but there is also a bit of step out here and also there is a lip because of this uh, this uh, sort of cover that they've given for the spare wheel and also there are scruff plates so that you don't damage your bumper Toyota has had a refresh take on the interiors and that is such a welcome change so you get this leather covered dashboard and actually this dashboard is 
pretty long so you can actually utilize this like when was the last time you actually use the dashboard to store something so you can just put out there and it won't fall off so again uh, leather cover dashboard and on the side you get soft touch plastic and also this uh, sort of a diamond design plastic trim on the doors out here and also at the bottom you get more glossy plastics on the side and again soft touch plastics wherever you see at the bottom you would have just the normal plastic but that's pretty all right but it's a solid build car again that is all with with all the toyotas that they are you know supremely well made now you get 4.5 inch multi information display in the dashboard and you get two dials on both the sides which shows you when you are charging or when you are driving in eco and power mode and all of that and on one side you get the speedometer so that center screen can display various information like you know your energy monitor your your speed range and you know how much uh, economy that you are doing on this and also if you want to just not have anything and also the the EV charge there is also a G monitor that you can have that is digital speedometer and also various other settings that you can go on the sides and control your audio or messages or any other settings and coming to the steering wheel the steering wheel is again leather covered and it's got this black plastic trim also in that design itself and on the right side you would get all the the buttons to change your uh, center screen you know the options on that and also any of your trip information while the cruise control as is with most of the toyota cars that there is a stick at the bottom which has been uh, given which you can use to use the cruise control which is a standard cruise control system and on the left side you get the communication and the infotainment controls now this steering wheel is manually adjustable which is your tilt and telescopic if you notice the infotainment screen and the air conditioning controls they are angled a little bit towards the driver this is ergonomically done so that it's easier while you are driving and also these uh, switches on the air, for the air conditioning unit are actually inclined upwards also so that sort of gives you you know that ease of operating the system while driving and that's actually pretty helpful trust me when there is a little bit of an angle because it's all facing towards you and it's always in your eye level so coming to the air conditioning controls they are all uh, controlled using the buttons on the screen itself so it is all manually controllable i am so glad that you know it's all button but then there are some unmarked buttons on the on the display itself so they are just color coded for the temperature and then in order to change the fan speed and also the different circulation modes for the the air circulation there are these buttons which don't have any marking so you have to memorize them before you know you start using them on the sides you would find the the big controls on both the sides for your eco mode control the dual zone and all of that so the air conditioning system is a dual zone air conditioning listening system now coming to the infotainment screen the infotainment screen is a 7 inch screen that is a tft screen touch screen and then all the buttons are uh, laid out on both the sides again that's a typical toyota thing to give you even the buttons and that makes actually the usage quite easier and then there are these volume and the scroll knob on both the sides and these dials are also pretty quality dials you know the fit and finish has been pretty good on this car so the menus are pretty straightforward you get your audio options you get your phone options apps info and setup to do various uh, you know settings like your bluetooth your audio your phone your voice commands your vehicle your wifi smart link everything can be changed from this menu itself in order to connect to this infotainment system you can either use your bluetooth the usb port or the mirror cast link and also there is android auto and apple car play so you can use either of that and connect to the system but this uh, the infotainment system doesn't have any navigation system again that is a good thing because anyways you are going to connect your phones and you know use the google maps from it now the chr doesn't come with a sunroof but it's got this design on the roof which resembles like a leaf or something i don't know now coming to the seats the seats are a combination of leather and fabric seats and they have this sort of diamond design in them and this white stitching and the seats are heated seats and the controls for them are mounted on both the sides of the ac control but for some reason they have the heated seats and not the cool seats these seats are super comfortable and also pretty broad and this car itself is very broad in the front mind you because it it may look like a crossover sort of thing but then this 
they still has the the width and also because of that there is space inside now these seats are manually adjustable and the driver side seat has only the lumbar support which is uh, electronically adjustable again that is a good thing because i just prefer the manual seats because they are faster to operate and you know just work your way around and also the passenger seat is again manually adjustable coming to the storage space you can put like half a liter worth of bottle on the door cards there are also two cup holders out here and also there is a adjustable cup holder the second one next to the center console which has this sort of stand so you know if you have a deeper cup then you can you know use this uh, remove this and use that so that is pretty clever thinking from toyota also and you get out your glove box and a center console which is big enough to store again you know two half a liter worth of bottle now in terms of the charging you get uh, one USB port in the front and one 120 watt power socket out here and then there are screens mounted and as a result you get like two USB ports in the back but then again I'll come to that as to why they are not enough now in the back notice how these doors are big and also these rear windows are a little smaller than what you are used to you know but then these windows can actually roll down till the bottom which is at least a good thing now otherwise the space in the back is a little congested although there is quite a bit of headroom for sure because you sit quite low down and also they've utilized every bit of space that can be you know possible because this car actually curves from the back again which is why there is still a bit of uh, headroom but it, it's it's just sort of enough for two people because in the center there is not much of a hump but it may get a little crowded in the back if you have three people otherwise there's also like a bit of a tunnel in the back and in order to compensate for the fact that you know you have less visibility in the back you have this big two touch screens in the back and these uh, these screens are actually an optional extra that you can fit and also get these headphones along with it these are like bluetooth headphones that you will automatically be connected to this system when you start it and this system is pretty easy to use also so this uh, these screens also have the inbuilt hdmi port the usb port and also a micro sd port so you can use either of that and now when you opt for these screens is when you have the usb options but otherwise in the back there are no more usb ports so yeah so this will for sure keep you entertained so i think it is better to you know add these screens because then that's the that's the way you can you know keep yourself entertained in the back but there is a fair bit of leg room also and also you can slide your feet under the the seats because there is a, a bit more room under the seats also but you don't get rear ac vents out here in the back the doors design continues with the the normal plastic uh, door cards and this diamond design in the in the at the bottom and yet you get two cup holders on both the sides on the door itself and there is no uh, hand rest so the seats again fold in a ratio of 60 to 40. Well Toyota has been selling the CHR in Europe for four years now and they have finally introduced the CHR in the UAE markets also and this is actually pretty good because it's such a fun little thing now this chr comes with a 1.8 liter petrol engine which is a dohc four cylinder inline engine that produces 96.5 bhp yeah it's very precise uh, and 142 newton meters of torque and also it's got the motor setup the electric motors that produces 71 bhp and 163 newton meters of torque now the combined output from this system is 121 horsepower now this entire setup of the engine and the motor has been directly picked up from the prius so it's a tried and tested hybrid system so nothing can go wrong and it's actually a very very smooth system now this this setup is mated to an ECVT. So ECVT is a system where uh, it's it's a transmission system which will try to give you the maximum efficiency. That is what I can tell you in a very simpler way. And it's also got the it's not the usual CVT actually because the moment I press the throttle, the car is responding pretty well. And also to do with the fact that the initial initial uh, torque and the power is 
is from is a mixture of engine and the motor so i get quite a bit of uh, great acceleration of the line you know when i want and also whenever i want power that is the engine that is always there and it's it's actually a fun little thing and very responsive actually now also there are various driving modes in the chr hybrid so in order to change those modes you have to go from your trip computer into the dashboard itself so you can do that using the menu buttons that are given out here and change from you know the normal mode the sport mode and also the the eco mode which is uh, uh, in there and also you can shift to and a pure ev mode but if the batteries are charged then you can shift to that mode and drive for a few kilometers on the battery itself there is also a a b mode in the in the gear shifter so that b mode is sometimes confusing and a lot of people would find it you know what that mode is so that b mode is actually a low range setup where if you are going at a on a steeper slope then you can control the speed of the car and also it changes the dynamics of a car a little bit the meaning of chr is actually compact high rider or there is also called as cross hatch run now that's like a mixture between you know the the crossovers that you usually get so it's essentially a a hatchback on stilts you can say but in terms of the driving dynamics it's pretty good i mean it's surprising because i usually found the the hybrid setup to be you know a little bulky although there is weight to this car but it is sitting right at the bottom and as a result it's it's been able to manage pretty well you know the the stability now in terms of the nvh levels also the the car manages to do quite well especially when you get off the line you would actually not notice at all that you know you are being powered so have a have a hear to you know when you just accelerate sort of from zero on just pure electric power because there is no sunroof there is no leak of uh, uh, sound into the cabin and also the car is well made again that's a toyota thing you know build quality is always pretty good now coming to the suspension setup it's kind of all right because there is not much of a roll and also it feels a very stable car that way even cruising at you know at higher speeds about 100 120 it still feels very very secure and you know very very connected to the road and also there is an electronic steering on this one and the steering is actually not too heavy but also it gives me enough of feedback now though it's a crossover but it's still got a decent amount of uh, turning radius you know it's pretty small that way and i am surprised the brakes are actually they have a mind of their own sometimes because i found that at higher speeds they are a little more sensitive because the moment i step on the brakes it just grips the 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 disc so quickly and then at lower speeds it actually increases the travel of the pedal for some reason i found that and i found it like a little bit of a you know thing to get used to because usually you just are so used to of you know pressing the uh, the brake pedal throughout like how you would operate normally and especially at high speeds because if there are there's a sudden need of you know if you slam on the brakes this may you know quickly just start that braking action the moment you step on it now coming to the safety systems you get standard safety systems two front airbags one for the driver and the passenger there are two side airbags again for the driver and the passenger there are two curtain airbags so there are six airbags there is tire pressure monitoring system there is also vehicle stability system which is again your traction control there is also electronic brake distribution there is also emergency brake assist there is also uh, hill hold assist there is also a single camera system and the output from that is pretty decent i would say even though the screen is tft but it's pretty bright and crisp and clear it's also got the child eyes of x points in both the rear seats so in terms of the safety systems it's pretty loaded and 
it comes with the, all the standard systems that you find in any other car so the toyota chr hybrid has got a very distinctive styling and also bold personality i mean look at it like the especially the rear view you know that that rear quarter is is one of my favorite views because it's got so much going on you know the curves and i mean it's it's just the way to design these cars it's 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 a fascinating thing and i'm glad these cars sort of exist you know in the market and as an option for us as a buyer and it's also got those eye catching angles you know sharp lines and it makes it such a unique car in its own way and the base model of the chr starts from 86000 and the vx version which is this particular one comes in at 94000 dirhams and i mean i get the point that you know it it may sound a little bit pricey but It's still not a bad deal because you get a really really fresh looking car from this and also the hybrid system because the hybrid system gives you an fuel economy of 17 to 18 kilometers per liter although the claim is 23 but you can actually push the car to you know get up to like 19 for sure on longer runs and that is like wow amazing you know this is what you get for the price that you pay and the chr also has a 43 liter fuel tank and as a result you will have like anywhere between 500 to 550 kilometers of range if you ever achieve 20 please let me know in the comment section i would love to know how did you do that anyways that is pretty much it for this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye and take care